uh, spirits of the uh, universe, uh, we ask that you safeguard uh, Private First Class Bradley Manning's safety, that you watch over him and protect him while he's in custody of the United States military. We ask that you help him get a free trial, a free and unbiased trial. We ask that you, the verdict is not guilty. We ask that you protect this true American patriot and hero who has inspired millions of us around the world to rise up and shake the change of capitalism off of our, from binding us. And we ask this with the expectation of knowing that this will happen. Thank you. I'm not much on prayers, but there you go. That was beautiful. You're welcome. Now this is going to him. I'm gonna and uh, we're back down you here know, at uh, Trinity Church here in beautiful downtown Manhattan. And uh, back to the live stream. We're glad to have you back. Thanks for your patience. Uh, we had to take care of a few things, but we're back here and we'll be here for another hour um, before we leave. I want him. I want him to wear when he gets out. Take it in for him. You know where he'd be if he were where he is now? Yeah. He'd be here with us. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, nice and pressure sure boots, Washington. Yeah, yeah, close enough to see it, but like not. Right here, look. I want him to wear it, so you know when he gets out. I should wear whatever he wants to wear when he gets out. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be an army uniform. I'm sure he's going to want us. No, no, I'm just saying I'm a danger by the press. I'm sure I'll hold on to it too. Yeah. Collect stickers and put it on, like, a different thing. Yeah, you want to put it up? Yeah. No, no, you do it. I don't know where you want stickers. Well, you know you can't even write him a letter? As you... Yeah, can you only write him? You can't, no, you can't you send him a letter. Yeah. He's in military prison. The same, you don't have rights that you do that you have, the same rights that you have here in regular prison. Which makes it double awful. You know, he's facing, he's facing a pay worse than death. Okay. Things like that, collect them and give it to him when he's out. There you go. No more wars. It's ridiculous. Right. Even if it doesn't connect a sticky or take it to you know, collect everything and put it on that and it'll show how much everyone has been hoping for him and fighting for him. Oh, he, he, I'm sure he, now he's going to know because everybody's on his website, web page. It's flooded with his stuff. I was on it. BradleyManning.org. Yeah, he, 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 people are saying he's not guilty. A hundred, a hundred is you guys. And some people on the outside, they they want him out. They say he's not guilty of what he, they claim he is. It's all made up, right? Oh yeah, they're gonna railroad him. It's kangaroo court. Yeah. You know. They're gonna, he's gonna get out. He's gonna be out of. That's it. They're gonna be looking like idiots. And then he's gonna see the military. They did. And that's what I would do. All right. Um, we're, I'm about to be changing. What? Okay. Um, I'm gonna be back down here tomorrow. You should write down my phone number. I don't have a phone, but I surely will. Well, you can call me, can't you? Yeah, I will find right. the phone. She's trying to, no problem. She's trying to get out of here and get down to uh, D.C. So she meets me um, when I go to take the bus back down to D.C. So I'll buy you a ticket and you come with us. She wants to go back down to D.C. It's 22 bucks. Um, I'm, I'm going back to San Francisco. I'm going to D.C. When I leave New York, I'm going back to uh, D.C. and then back to San Francisco. And I'll be back out here uh, right around Christmas time. I bet you when Brad, 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 Brad gets stuff. out, man, he's going to be the happiest person ever. Let me know what's your contact, if you have an email or something. Yeah, I have got an email. Okay, why don't you write that down for me, and I'll email you, and I'll let you know the date and time that I'm going to be I leaving. I just didn't know if you wanted it. No, that's fine. Okay. I'll just write well, it down I'm, for me. I'm funny about the privacy of people because... Well, I don't care about my own, but I will safeguard yours.
Yeah, I, uh, mine's, mine's Pablo. I got, I got mine's mine's. Okay. Everybody knows who I am, Freeman Sullivan. Yeah, you, and mine's, you know, my, my Facebook page is open. My email is on there. My old phone number is on there. Okay, okay. yeah, and I'll, I'll email you what time. I'm not sure exactly what day and time I'm leaving, but it's going to be in this weekend. And you can uh, catch the bus with me. I'm getting off in Baltimore, but uh, you can just continue on down to Washington, okay? And I'll give you a... Uh, if you're looking for a place to stay, I'll give you a number of a house. It's an activist house in D.C. No, it's some Quaker people I know. And, uh, I've got but, contacts in the Quaker house. Are you a okay. Quaker? Oh, uh, no, no. No, I've got... I've got okay. I'm an anarchist. Right down there, his mom is a Quaker. So, no. An anarchist? Yes. I am too. I'm an anarchist. Well, but the I'm my spirituality. are really close tied with, with the Quakers. The Quakers in D.C. Uh, Eli's Quaker and his mom's Quaker, and they, run, they work within the Quaker house. They actually helped us out quite a bit. All right, so we'll get you, moms. we'll get you on the bus and get you back to D.C. Although I'd rather be up here than in D.C. if I had a choice. I I've got family in D.C. Okay, I understand. I understand. I've been there for months. Okay. I started off here, but I found my niche in D.C. Okay. There All right, I got go. your email. I'll make sure I save it for you, and I'll be, I'll, I'll let you know by. Uh, Call me up uh, today's what Thursday Wednesday? Uh, what is today? I think it's the Wednesday. To Wednesday the nineteenth. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll let you know Friday. Okay. So check your email. Definitely. Okay? I can do can, that. I can. You can go over to Burger King and do that. I don't have. I. Oh, I gotta. You know, my computer's messed up. I well, you don't need a computer. They got computers there. Oh, that's right. They have free internet access. Oh. So right down here at Burger King. Yeah. 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 So go, yeah. So yeah. check your email. I and I'll let you know, and you got to meet me at the bus stop, and you have to be there. Try to give yourself a half an hour before the bus leaves. Okay. okay? And I'll I'll be happy to make sure you get back you're down to DC. You're too late. No, you're right. Not too early. Not too. I don't mind early. Late, you're gonna miss the bus. Yep. Okay. So if you want to go, you have to show up. Okay. All right. Definitely. Thank okay. you so much. No problem. And then I'll let you know in your email. All right. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Right. If I had a, if I had a. Okay. We have an encampment. It is on Quaker property, and we do have to agree to abide under contract by laws that they provide rules. Three Mile Island. That's Does a, it glow at night? Extreme. No, I'm just teasing. Well, yeah, we should pro do a protest. We should protest there. Oh, definitely. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm. I have to spend a couple of days with my family. I don't get to see them very often. They live in Baltimore, <laughs> and uh, I gotta like, I you know, I gotta take care of my family business, but. I'm really enjoy. I'm enjoying the time I spent here in New York, and uh, I've been, like I said, I watched this from about a year from my little bed in San Francisco, wishing I could be out here, right, and too fucked up to get outside the house. Well, I shattered my leg. But were you able to engage within your own community? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I'm very well connected. I've been an activist for 41 years, so there's not much that goes on or anything. That I'm not like I don't know about, or I'm part of the organizing group that, that I made it happen. So, so could you label yourself proactive? Very much, very much so. You know, and whatever I have, uh, whatever I have, I try to share it with as many people as possible. And because uh, the universe, forces of the universe have been very, very kind to me, and given me all these gifts and ways of making money, and giving me a fantastic mind, and to which I'm eternally grateful for. Right, so. And I have a, you know, when I have, like, opportunity to share with people, I always try to do that. I'm an Oxford dropout. There you go. I went to, um, I went to Johns Hopkins University myself. Studied psychopharmacology. Yeah, I have a master of science. Psychopharmacology, really yeah. interesting. Yeah. I used to work with Adam Cox. I used to make some through the window okay. every day. Yeah. Um, combinatorial chemistry, computational chemistry, predictive. Uh, talk. Toxicity, uh, HPLC, MS, SPEC, and uh, because parallel because synthesis. Time, this is something that people don't get. Within yeah, I spent my, uh, pretty much my whole career at Johns Hopkins was spent in the laboratory. The I don't drink. So they handed me the keys, said go to work. So that's what I did. I put my New York blood center? On the line. No, I'm not familiar with that. I go out on a march, I put myself and everybody else on the line. So if I okay. We sold them with combinatorial chemistry. Uh, maybe 10,000 10, compounds, diverse compounds. Not being and one of them was a hit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I did. Yeah. So they asked for a yeah. 
an optimized library around that one. Provided that one. Thereafter, they were bought out by another company altogether. Allegedly, they might have like. Uh, I'm trying to put this number in my wallet, folks. Yeah. Allegedly, they might have like a. Uh, hit for something like HIV or AIDS. So in other words, they can, based on that, there's a probability that they can refine it. Okay. Have created or cre can create it. Hi, Laszlo. <laughs> right, just a second, folks. I'm trying to get my wallet put away here, so uh, please excuse the shaky camera. You get to me all the time. Don't say hey to me. I love, I love live streaming. <laughs> It's like it's the greatest thing, you know, because you get to kind of like the cool about it. The cool thing about it is, is that people can communicate with you while you're live streaming. So I get twi I get tweets at the bottom of my little thing here, right? Seeing people can tell me and everything, you know, talk to me. Well, it's through tweets. Ecuadorian embassy. Yeah. We well, were talking about Julian Assange. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. So, well, Douglas is on it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Douglas. A little bit of a lag. Uh, things don't always work as they're supposed to, but such is what happens when you get filtered through um, government. Yeah, well, I'm working on, uh, Ustream's a private company. Um, I'm actually developing software. Uh, when I get back to San Francisco, I'm going to keep the, uh, so we can have a, a non commercial uh, Ustream uh, website. Can we do it with P2P or P2P keys? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I have an app that I'm developing for Android, so I should have that done by Christmas. Right? Oh, good. All right. Yeah, we'll have some more pizza. We'll have more pizza coming down here. I, I ordered another large, so plenty of pizza for everybody. Delicioso. At least people don't have to go hungry. I don't like to see that. So I hear yeah. the kind of gentleman that bought people pizza. Right? Yeah, there's more coming. Thank you, kind sir. No problem. Well, no two problem. Boxes over there. Okay, well, we ordered another one too, so. Yeah. yeah. No problem. No problem. I, I'm an occupier from San Francisco. Yeah. From Occupy Tampa. Okay. And your name? My name is Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Yeah. Hey, say hi to the audience out there. Good day, everybody. Yeah, I got picked up at the RNC. They brought me. Hey, they brought me to the DNC and uh, got in good with the kids. And they're like, Hey, you want to come with us? Got on the first bus and they brought me here. And so, I got a job. I got a place to stay. It's like a shelter, but it's like an SRO. Uh, here? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, I got my good. food stamps, so like. Try to make it a point to fucking stay here. Good. Africa. Good. And your name again was? Chris. Chris, okay. Great. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. And there's more on the way. Okay. I'll be floating around. They transfer yeah, if you're down here in the New York metro area, do drop in to the Trinity Church. There's a 24-7 occupation going on down here. Um, and we know that occupiers down here would appreciate donations of food, clothing, blankets, sleeping bags, water. There's a list. And you can bring it right down here and drop it off to the occupiers down here and they'll make good use out of it. Uh, we ask that you don't donate to Occupy Wall Street uh, funds to them directly. Uh, because we understand there's been some embezzlement going on so uh, but we do ask you to come down here to Trinity Church and make direct donations to occupiers because they sure could use your support so, lots of brave kids what's your name sir my name is egg salad Sam okay my last name is Witt and I'm just occupying here, supporting the cause. Great. All right. All right. Want to do the same thing? My egg salad sandwich. Okay. Well, we'll go down that way because it looks like everybody got hit up there. Okay. All right. And uh. So. <laughs> okay. You can say that there. Just go ahead and pass that pizza to everybody and make sure they get it if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want me to hold something here while you're? I was going to pull out the plates. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah. What I can do. Okay, everybody. 
And we're going to take a two minute break here to pass out pizza and we'll be right back. Unless we can get somebody, you want to help us pass out some pizza? Okay, well then you got some help there. Okay. And what we do is we take um, a slice and put it on the plate. And your hands are clean, I, hope, I trust? Okay. Is that free pizza? Yes, it is. Yes, if you want to. If you like a slice, knock yeah. yourself out. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, really? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, oh, I think I'll even have a tiny little one myself. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit. Uh, there we go. You need Thank one? You. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. He's, the, he's the man, but uh, you're welcome. Thank you guys. Thanks, sir. Pizza. Would you like a beer? No problem. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hang on. Where, uh, yeah, yeah. After I eat this pizza, you bring back another pizza. <laughs> 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 I'll be right here. Wait, you're training pizzas for beer. Wait a second. I'll be right back. You got some pizza? I'm right here. Nice t-shirt. I want one. Yeah. Do you? Want one? Come get it. Yeah. Whoever paid for this, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is that you? Yes, thank you. My name is Josh. It's nice to meet you, Josh. Yes, sir. From San Francisco. Tim. Occupy. Thanks. I'm Occupy DC, originally from Nashville. Let me see my. Let's see. All right, I Nashville. I lived in NorCal for a little while, about, about a year. You guys did a pretty good occupation in Nashville. You want to tell us about it? To our live stream audience out here? Uh, I actually wasn't there. I okay. was in Occupy DC. Oh, okay. Well, we know all about what happened in DC. Yeah, we know what happened in DC. Did you see the play yet? What play? They had a play over the last weekend. It was called Occupy the Stage. No, I haven't seen And they did a dramatic dramatization of uh, Occupy DC. It was really good. If you ever get a chance to get on live stream, uh, just uh, Google Freeman Sullivan, yeah. and uh, my YouTube page will come up. Yeah. And I, it's the whole play. I live stream the whole play, so you should check it out. I'll tell you a little bit about Nashville. The first, two, the first three days were beautiful. Right. And then they got raided the first that, that first night. And the commissioner. Oh, thank you. The commissioner let them sit for a thank few hours. Much. And they dismissed all the cases. And then the second night they raided. The commissioner didn't even fuck with them. He just threw them out. He's like, it's all dismissed. Stop bringing them in here. And then they started doing the the Daryl Issa no camping. Okay. Yeah. That's right. basically it. And what's your name, sir? I'm Josh Casey. Josh Casey. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Thank much you love. Food. Uh, if I, uh, if you guys need anything else, just let me know before I leave. Okay. That building down there, you know what's Okay, well, we know which one you're talking about. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm, check out the beautiful t shirt I had. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, man. All right. Beautiful, huh? Nice. Yes. Simple, right to the point. All right, you want to hold the camera while yeah. I pull that up? Yeah. You like live stream? It's fun, isn't it? Live streaming is great. I know, it's like. Did you show it? Yeah, it gets me to, oh yeah, let me show the people out there in the audience. See, this is what happens when you give out free pizza. Yes. You get a free t-shirt. Yes. All right.
Pula Mundo. So I said, oh, I like your t-shirt. I gotta have one of those. And he came back with one and gave it to me. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Love it when that happens. Yep. Well, when you when you share with everybody, the universe has a way of giving back to you. No doubt. Hey, how you doing? Oh, nice. He's got like Martin Luther King on his backpack. Yeah, I love yeah. that mugshot. You have to watch where you're pointing now. Yes. Right, a beautiful Occupy t-shirt. I'll wear it tomorrow with pride. Nice shirt. Oh, I'm very proud Thank of everybody you. down here. You know, I really am. You know, very proud of everybody down here. It's a brave bunch of people. They're down here. They're fighting for your uh, your freedom and your economic uh, security. So do come down here and support them. They need food, water, blankets. They need bus tickets, uh, places to take showers. Uh, I could go down the list. Um, maybe. Uh, I'll post that tomorrow on my website, activiststream.com, and a list of things that you can do to help people down here that are occupying New York. Okay? And uh, I guess I can take the camera back now. All right. Thank you, dear. It's my lovely, lovely escort and friend, Tiffany, not Trinity. Although she likes that name. Whatever we might you want to call me. We might just start calling her that. I like it. It's a beautiful night out here on uh, right around the corner from Wall Street, which is right down here. We might take some time out here and just roll by. That's the uh, the belly of the beast, so to speak. How you doing, brother? Hello, sir. How you guys doing? Good. Out here from uh, San Fran. Oh, really? Yeah, Occupy. I'm on the road. You from New York? Yeah. I like your shirt. Yeah, that's a damn good that's shirt. That's cool. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Aaron. And you're from New York? From, yeah, from Occupy Syracuse. Where? Occupy Syracuse. Oh, Occupy Syracuse. Okay. Get shit cash, boy. I came out here about three days ago. Okay. I was here a month before. All right, so you've been a regular uh, regular camper out here then? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, great. Great. How's it been? Like, what's it like at night, like, spending the night down here? Uh, it's pretty peaceful um, until a white shirt comes through. <laughs> okay. What do they do? Come through and roust everybody? Or? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they harass people with stuff on the ground and stuff. Uh, is it illegal to sleep on the ground in New York to sleep outside? Yeah. Okay, it's illegal to sleep outside? Uh, oh, no, it's not illegal to okay. sleep outside. It's just, uh, apparently, uh, from this line over, it's illegal to sleep. Okay, yeah, yeah from blocking the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. All right, well, thanks a lot. No, well, this is for hanging. Thanks a lot, sir. Also, now everybody's nice and fed, and, hun and we don't have any hungry people down here now. I feel Thank a lot better. You. You know? Thank you, man. No problem, We don't buddy. get a lot of hot meals around here, so. Uh, well, that's why, you know, uh, why did... And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm coming back to New York in a, in a few weeks. Yes. Is like, you know, I'm really good at organizing, right? I've been doing it for 41 years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we need to provide, like, maybe we can find a place where we can have a kitchen. Yes. And have regular meals brought here. For people. That's what we do in San Francisco. It'd we have regular great. meals. It'd be great. You know, it's, it's hard to get everybody on the same page here. It's just hard. It's well. just freaking hard. I mean, if we would, I mean, and there's so many woulda, coulda, shoulda things. Right. But we, I honestly believe that from the get-go, it was like, we should have took some money. And we should have got ourselves a, 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 a warehouse, a warehouse where we could set up a kitchen, have showers, organize all our stuff there, and then you know, I mean, you could go right in Jersey City. I'm sure we could have got a big warehouse there, really cheap. You know, that it's just they did just like a home base. There. Yeah, and have a home base and just send everybody out from there. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. And what's your name, sir? Gene. Gene. Gene, and Lord. you're from New York. Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. Me. I've been here since day one, man, drumming my butt off. Great, great. That's all I do. I just drum. I drum, I lead the marches, I do as much as that. Well, that's, that's more than enough, but kidding. Oh, if you got uh, Bradley Manning on the Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm there, I'm there for Bradley. You know, we, uh, we occupied uh, Obama's campaign headquarters in Oakland about a month ago. Look what somebody gave me. An orange jumpsuit for Bradley. That's great. Solidarity with Bradley. Very yep. nice, very nice. And, and Julian Assange. Thank goodness for WikiLeaks, yeah, we would never even be out here if it wasn't for WikiLeaks. Yep. I'm gonna send him when he comes. If we get him out, I'm gonna do it before he comes home. Yeah. You'd be lucky if he gets out. Yeah, I know. I'm praying to get him well, out. We, yeah, there's some, uh, and there's you know, I've what? even heard if they if they decide to you know uh, give him the death penalty or anything, especially like that, there's some vets that will rescue him. Like, there will be a I'm large. There'll be a Navy rescue. Seals. Navy yeah. SEALs mission yeah, well, into free Bradley Manning, right? Ex-Navy yeah, SEALs. They, they yeah, there you go. I'm still Navy SEALs. It's 
it's bullshit. Yeah. The government's created yeah. Yeah. committed treason. I'm too Yeah, I'm one of the ones here. If anybody, if anybody, want to walk that, these right. these fraggers are gonna get away with it. No, they won't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if anybody, if anybody, any freaking buddy is 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 treasonous, is freaking U.S. government. Exactly. Oh yeah. The U.S. Just, government committed treason against this country a long time ago. Yeah. Why don't we do a treason? Ah, uh, Douglas. There's always an opening for a new organizer. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's talk about the real definition of treason. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the real offenders. The Declaration of, the Declaration of Independence was for the freaking people, not for the government. Yeah, exactly. All right, those laws were... Those, those were... Those laws were implemented and they're God given and nobody can take them from you. But you can certainly give them away if you don't freaking stand up. Agreed. I only complain Agreed. to the team and never want to see an orange jumpsuit again when yeah, it gets yeah, yeah. out of there. Oh, no, they, were, they, don't, uh, they don't have orange. It's a joke. It's a joke. I mean, he'll take it because, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's a token you don't of affection. I know. I was just messing with you. Orange is just a really bad color for prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Florida prisons. <laughs> well, that's a prison state. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh my God, oh shit. This is Dalton Soldier saying, I was doing good, but now I'm very upset about what happened. No, I hear you. I hear you. Look. We, can't, we can't get stressed out. That wastes our energy. It's hard. It's our toy. Hey, you want to take a show? <laughs> we love you, Bradley. We're here for you. We got your back. That's right. He's a true American hero. Yeah. We got your back, Bradley. All right, go to BradleyManning.org for more information about Bradley's case. Uh, you could also make a donation on his website to support his legal fight. Uh, they've spent over a quarter of a million dollars so far. On uh, he's got the best. He's got the best lawyers that he can get. So if he can get a fair trial, which I doubt. But yeah. if he can get a fair trial, he's got a reasonable chance of, of uh, getting off. And a big fuck you to uh, President Obama for declaring Bradley Manning guilty before he's actually had a trial. Yeah. So. Well, we can also Obama. thank him because if we can use that as a proper evidence that he, uh, he uh, what's it called? Up, no problem. I mean, I mean your father, he said he was in, uh, My father was a colonel in the army. Yeah, he's still alive. He retired. Your father would be happy. You know what I mean? It might get yeah, I'll be, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to see my dad on uh, Saturday. This is so. my email. These are my websites. But that's all. If, if there's anything if you got info for me, or I have info. All those are that's, that's where I am online. All right, you got to you got to print out your your, your father's gonna be happy. That oh yeah, son, son. my father's proud of me. Although I don't ever have no, to worry about that. Right. My father knows I'm an activist too. So no, I meant by that means your father's gonna be happy to get you get one help to get his one of his own out of jail. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Put these scumbags yeah. in jail. That's right. Put the but the banksters, the banksters are the ones that belong in jail, right? Not the, not Bradley Manning. No, he don't deserve to be there. That's right. We're down here at Sleepwell Protest. We're down here at Trinity Plaza. This is my job. I worked at NASA and I lost my job. Hear me hold it still. There we go. I lost my job. So you can see. Sounds like you've been working for Occupy. Obama don't push us into Iran. We didn't vote for Netanyahu. Occupy. This is my online. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, did I already give you one? No, yeah, okay. I just need you to right. the best I can write it down. There you go. Oh, just keep it. No, I'm going to write oh, mine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can all network and stay in touch with each other. Unfortunately, I can't do much when I'm doing live stream, but it's all good. H O A G I E? No, it's H O. It's my new career. Yeah. Uh, I'm retired, kind of, because uh, I get, like, federal benefits and everything. Yeah. So, thank God for the city of San Francisco. They take care of we take care of our people in San Francisco as much as we can. Yeah, like, uh, there's a lot of people out in the street and stuff, but nobody has to be on the street in San Francisco if they don't want to be. Right? And the city's most generous, you know, with help. Okay. They'll give you a place to live and a monthly check and food stamps. And uh, I'm not recommending people go to San Francisco to do that, but it is there and available. And we do have universal health care in San Francisco. See, that's awesome. It should be, that should be everywhere. I'm proud of you, man. I love you too, brother. Everybody you should have a bad education. Okay, well, don't worry. I'm not going to get behind you. Everybody should have a home. Let's get back to you. We're all going to protest.
Yeah, damn straight. We're going to get him out of jail. Oh, he's going to get out. Fight's not over yet. I'm not going to give up until I'm dead. Everybody gets everything. How about that? Why about that? Everybody gets everything. Everybody. Let's make one really good car, and everybody gets that. Make the best car we can all make, and everybody gets that car. You already said? Clark. 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 We like, aren't gonna torture them and do the I stuff that they the, do to us. us. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll forgive them. Exactly. I want the heads of them. We might take away all their money, but like we'll forgive them. Oh, well. The barbaric ways of humanity are uh, a, a we past. Were, thing. Yeah, I understand. When we were his father, and me and a lot of, so many of us were in, like, we were trained to kill machines. Right. Well, and all we know is how to take things like that. I don't think out. that's true. I don't think that's all you know. My father was never, my father never saw a day of combat. My father was, uh, he was in uh, logistics. Oh, he was? But you know what I'm saying. Right? I know exactly what you're saying, though. Oh. This stuff, I think my father never fired off his uh, service with Robert once. I know. I That's know. all we know. I know. I know uh, the highest rate of death of among it's called no. among the medics. The medics. Yeah. We're killing each other. That's suicide. Yeah. We need to put an end to this. I don't care how we do it. We need to put an end to this and an end to this. I agree. I agree. The buck stops here. Uh, I got a second here, folks. Excuse the camera. That's right. Right? That's right. And I'm proud of what you want to do. Right? Right? No, I'm not. Yo. Yo. Yes. Yo. I found something of yours, by the way. Oh, you did? No, not yours. Yo. I believe this is yours. Hello. Yo. I don't even know what it is. Yo. Those are best strips. Oh, right. Maybe I. Do. I'll be right back. Okay. Is that a hint? No. Well, yeah, for pizza bread. Ah, oh shit! I just sprayed it in my eye. <laughs> oh no! So it's spray. I thought they were strips. Are you alright? Okay. It's not as bad as you would think it would be to spray your eye with Listerine. <laughs> uh oh. Here, let me see that. I need a. I need a spray. Not bad at all. No. Nah. Try it again. I'm actually gonna try the, the right way this time. How you doing tonight, officer? Everybody okay over there? They're yeah. talking to him. All right, let's keep an eye on what's going on here. I'll be right down. My name's Clark. Ah, now I see. Yeah, it's being nice to you, sir. You guys have a good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they're not trying to arrest him. Um, they gave him a chance to pull out of it. He has uh, alcohol. And, uh, so. He wasn't concealing well enough, No, no, no. But, you know. All you need is a damn cup holder thing. People are being watched, so remember that when you're down here. But they let him go. They could have arrested him. Right. I'm surprised. Just for that. Oh, that's a unusually nice of them. Yeah. Agreed. What is he doing? I don't know. He's being a nut. Yeah. You got NYPD being nice. So actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, the police are down here. 
He said, he said, my dude came back. He said it was his birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. It's your birthday today? I mean, I'm out here from Occupy San Francisco. So. And your name is? Ed. Ed? Are you from New York? Ed, Ed the medic? From New York? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you this great card they gave me. Sure. You can't, you can't spell medic without... Ed, happy birthday. It's an honor to work and live with you. Love books. That's great. Librarian books. Oh, cool. Yeah. That was one of the best presents. Oh, yeah. How long have you been down here? October 1st. Okay. Where's the sanitizer? Right here. Right. So you're going to find us here. Hide your products. Oh. It was right here. We're like that. Being from San Francisco, I can tell you that we have more than our fair yeah, share of medical cannabis. Yeah, there's no so, there's no way to tell us You're having to make it out to San Francisco, get your card, and uh, your medical card. and Idiots! Go get that burrito for the one. Bam, the word fools. There we go. We got Ed taking care of everybody. I know. It's okay. Oh, no. He was washing his hands with beer. Yeah, well, it's you know, alcohol. Yeah, we well, had to pour it out. Uh, right, the police are out there. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. somebody else from Occupy San Francisco out here. Uh, yeah, this is not what I'm saying. I know. I know, Priya. Yeah, she helped a lot here. She helped a lot down at the DNC, the RNC. Great. Well, thank you for all your great service, Ed. Very much appreciative. You know, everybody, everybody does. Right. And you look like a, you look like you're a compassionate person. I can see the compassion in your face. Seriously, I try to be. I'm not always as compassionate as I would like to be, but I really, at least, I try to make an attempt, though, right? Yeah, uh, Sandra M. She says that you're a sweetheart medic. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Obama does do what he's told out there. Uh, Douglas 5937. Okay, well, you enjoy your cake. Thank you. Thank you for all your great service. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. We're moving around here a little bit. Down here at uh, Trinity Church, right around the corner from Wall Street. Uh, how's everybody doing? Happy? Everybody full? Got food to eat? Got to drink? Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Don't want anybody going hungry. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. I'm going to try and stay away from him because he's really loaded. It's okay, you know. I don't have a problem with it. It's just, you know. How y'all doing? Having a good night? The weather couldn't be nicer. It's great. My name's Clark, and this is uh, Trinity. No, no, Tiffany. Uh, I'm just teasing. I think I'm going to go by Trinity. I'm Anthony or Hello Kitty. Okay, yeah, it's Hello Kitty, Anthony. Hi. Right. I'm uh, out here from San Francisco. Oh, you're from San Fran? Yeah. So uh, I'm, act I'm, act I'm an active member of Occupy in San Francisco. I, I you know, I've been out here since October. Okay. I want to get. I want to go out there. Yeah, come and visit us. I, uh, I, huh? Come and visit us in San Francisco. I, I want to. I'm gonna see if I go out in West in, uh, in November. Mm -hmm. Just bring a nice jacket. It gets cold in San Francisco. Does it? Very oh, much yeah. so. Every day. Oh yeah. But it gets nice. It gets. It gets warm every day too. Just about. Right. I think I have enough kind of my bag. Yeah, we got a little. We get a lot of fog and a lot of wind. It gets cold. Right. So be prepared when you come there. But it's not so bad. It's like it's 70 degrees here, every day. Right? The weather's nice, way nicer than it is here. No, I mean like winter here. Oh, we don't get winter. Yeah. Right. So we get um. Gotta be nice already. We get spring where it rains a lot. Right. So, uh, but it does get. You will get cold while you're there, so be prepared. But uh, we have to see you know when you're in San Francisco. Look me up. What's the Clark. 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 Yes, sir. We have a problem because the NYPD, because supposedly according to Frey. Badge number 7600 of the 34th precinct, 
is um, not doing his job, we asked him to remove um, the old Jamaican guy who's screaming and throwing trash everywhere, who could be a potential danger to sleeping protesters tonight. And his argument to us was, no, um, anybody can crash here, right? That's your model. We don't feel safe. He needs to do his job and get us out of here. So we need live streaming over there because well, he must be a him. smart ass and uh, I'll do that. Not, him and his boys don't want actually to remove him. I want to give me a push there, look. I was wondering if... No, she's got, well, I got it. They must be so enjoying it. Uh, so there's yeah, we're going back the yeah. fact. So yeah, that we we're going to live stream this. Yeah. And then the video could be potentially used in court in the future. As how the NYPD <coughs> treats uh, protesters when we feel unsafe. So if we file a civil complaint, we can't take this to court, right? If we have video of what they're going to. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy to. Because personally, I'm pretty sure a lot of protesters won't feel safe with him. Okay. Here, and I, I, I'm not sure. All right. Well, I'll, I'll stick around down here. Just stick around. Then. No problem. That's what I'm here to do. <laughs> There's always somebody in there. Yep. Yeah. We yeah, have the same. One. We have the same problem one. in San Francisco too. You know, we try to. I really push for no alcohol. Yeah, you gotta right? have zero tolerance. But, you know, get belligerent and do stupid shit. That's right. I mean, if you want to drink, why not just take it down the street it's somewhere, right? Important. But you know what it yeah. is? Is is there is no. Well, he needs an you audience. That shit up at Union Square. Why don't you just stay at Union Square and do it? Well, he needs an audience. Yeah, exactly. There's right. no audience up there for him, so. Yeah, I don't tolerate. I don't tolerate. Well, that's okay. I don't tolerate drug and poorery. Even, you know, in my normal life, especially I don't tolerate it when I'm protesting, right? You know, you go, you have a couple of beers, you have a good time. You get, you know, you're standing here protesting, drinking beers, and we all know. Yeah, well, you want to go party, do it on your own time, you know? Yeah, they're ruining it for You know, just pick them up and take them away. Well, well, they said that there's no law against being drunk in public in New York City, which is okay. Really? Being drunk. Really? But there, I said, so there's no law against an open container. Oh, there is a law against an open container. And he had the open container, and he said, we made him throw it out. We don't have to arrest everybody. No, but that was a good thing. They made him They made him dump out his booze. Well, you know, I, I, you know, know, that wasn't even the problem. The problem was that he was taking his garbage and he was throwing it over the fence into the graveyard. Yeah, I saw that. You know? Yeah, that's not acceptable. Not acceptable Absolutely behavior. Not. Just because they want to treat us like animals don't mean you have to be an animal. Right. I'm not going to be like that. I won't give anybody that, that, that pleasure of being an animal. Well, you know, we try to do our job here. You know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not looking for a, for any kind of like uh, confrontation with the police sure. department because there's not necessary. Absolutely not. Right. They're but out here know, doing their job. When you enforce, yeah. when you enforce your rule upon some people, but don't enforce your rule on others, that's called selective yeah. enforcement. I mean, I'm old enough to be both of those guys' father. Yep. Right. So, listen to your dad. Of course they don't want to arrest the guy who's belligerently drunk destroying the place because that gives them one more thing they can ride up to shut down the whole protest. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So we have to police ourselves. Right. And it's really hard to prevent somebody off, but it can be done. I've done it before, non-violently, to get people away from, away from the problems. What are you problems, staring at? Right? That is a you good next step. You got a fucking problem? Step. You got a fucking problem? Keep fucking walking. Do not even look at me, bro. Make sure you're caught in all this. Seriously. Time. Yeah, I'm Keep you. walking. I'm gonna get like 40. Don't videos. start with me because you'll wind up on one of those freaking tent, those posts right oh, there. Idiot. You got the wrong fucking clown. You ain't gonna fucking intimidate me. You ain't gonna scam me. You ain't gonna do none of that shit. All right. And I'll tell you right for the cops. I don't mind if I go to fucking jail slamming your ass. Fucking walk. Don't talk to me. Don't say a fucking word. Go. I got it. I got it all analyzed. So they, they're you know listening what? and they're not. Not oh, as long as he keeps right, moving. See, there's some of the problems that we deal with as occupiers, and uh, yeah, it's not always fun, right? And there's always so much the police can do anyway. So I'm not an apologist by any stretch. So, so okay, we want to um, let's roll over to Wall Street, and we'll wrap it up. We'll go over to Wall, and uh, it looks like the situation is pretty Are you much. Are gonna be here tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'll make it a point. Make it a point to come down Sorry here. Sorry for that. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, he needed to be. He needed some tough love. Yeah. 
Uh, well, we're going to um, go around the corner here. we got other appointments. But I'll be down here tomorrow. Look for me. Make sure, make sure like, people are, like, editing that video of how the cops stand there. Like, Definitely. Okay. Um, his name is Frey, 7600 of the 34th Precinct. Alrighty. Uh, if a problem does escalate tonight, he was aware. Okay. So, letting a belligerent drunk man destroy the place to give him, um, more, more shit to pile on us to shut this down. Why are you staring at me again? You got a fucking problem? You got a problem? Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem? I'm not touching him. I'm just doing what he's fucking doing. What? I've got no. Oh, they spent over a quarter of a million dollars on his legal defense this far. That's yeah. it? That's just a lot of money. Defense. Just on his defense. Yeah, but like, that's not enough. That's, that's not enough, but that's a lot. Well, they're that's working enough. on it. They're working on it. That's, that's like pennies compared to what he probably needs. That's the fucking big difference there, pal. Oh, we're gonna figure they, he, the government has an unlimited checkbook and they're prosecuting it under the National Securities Act. So, uh, 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 he's, 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 I know. I can't believe this guy is retired. Alright. Everybody that's, on, that's in the service is retired. are all behind uh, Bradley. Not always. We're all behind him. I am not going to give up on him. That gets a little up. You heard? Tell your brother, I will not give up on him. We won't. We won't. All right, well, I'm going to make my way away. It's nice seeing all you. I'll be back down tomorrow for a bit. All right. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right, we're going to move around to uh, Wall Street. Try to get away from the... Uh, <laughs> Am I on the right street? Is this Wall Street? Um, yeah, we're at the right place. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. All right, sweetie. Just to get a picture of Wall Street for everybody at home, they can see the actual building. Down here on Wall Street, no, right coming right up here, center of all the bankster manipulation of your money, so you do not end up with any money in your 401k plan or your retirement. Folks inside this freaking building are the ones that are responsible for the theft of your money. So uh, do remember Thanks, that. Thanks, Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, Wall Street, and all the banksters that are in here. Ah, here we go. We're down at we're down at the other church. I don't see if there's anybody down here today. I don't, this is what I remember seeing when I was watching live streams. Was they had a bunch of people that were up here at the church, and uh, already. Uh, oh, let's just keep going. Down at Federal Hall. The uh, Declaration of Independence was uh, signed here by George Washington. And there was a spot here where I do remember there used to be occupiers. I'm not really sure why there's no occupiers down here right now. But this was the spot. As you can see, it's all dark. So, uh, there you go. That's pretty much what's happening. Uh, I guess we could slow down for a second. Who is this guy on his knees? That George? Right there? Uh, I'm not real sure. That's what Wall Street's going to be doing here. Alright, well, let's see if we got any more viewers. Uh, Freeman, did you go to St. Ignatius? Uh, no. Oh, wow, San Francisco took uh, Bradley Manning Plaza back down. Hey, Barnabas, thanks for that information. Yo ho ho! Uh, they, they took back Bradley Manning Plaza last night. Alright, no, I didn't get a chance to go to St. Ignatius. I'm, 
I was like exhausted, so I couldn't make it. But uh, I'm gonna be live streaming again tomorrow. I'm gonna come back down here for a few hours at least, and uh, let you know what's up with Occupy Wall Street. And uh, we really thank you for watching, and uh, we appreciate your support. And uh, go to your local Occupy and help support them as well. I'm sure that they need blankets and food, and just like people down here, it's all over the country. And uh, make sure you uh, do your share, your share in helping out. And this is Freeman Sullivan signing off from Wall Street. And everybody have a good evening. Bye-bye.